Hello, our dear viewer. Thank you for taking the time to follow the live link of the Sunday service from the House of Bread Life Celebration Center International that is located in Nairobi, Kenya, East Africa. It is our prayer this day that as you listen to this message, may the Holy Spirit speak to you. May you give your heart to the Lord and whatever you desire from God, be it a miracle, a healing, or a breakthrough, may the Lord grant it to you. On behalf of the senior pastor, Bishop Dr. Mark and Reverend Joyce Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, you know 
as we pray together. My Savior, you reign, Lord. My Father and Father of Lord Jesus Christ, we give you glory and honor this morning for your Jehovah Jireh, your Jehovah Shalom, O King of Glory, your Jehovah Nisi, O Jehovah our Father, you Jehovah who lay forevermore. Lord, we bless you because of your presence in one building this morning. We thank you because of our two or three are gathered. The Lord, you are in the midst. Bless you because of your presence that makes that difference, O oh Lord. Thank you because you Jehovah Jehovah. Lord, we bless you for the power that lay in one midst as we gather this morning. Bless you because of the open heaven. The Lord, you reign in one midst, O oh God. Thank you because of the ministry of the angels in our midst, O oh God. Bless you for our angelic ministry this morning. As you enjoy the said in our midst, O oh God, and minister to us this morning. Bless you because they are ministering spirit together with us, O oh God. We bless you for the Holy Ghost power. Let the Holy Spirit come and lay. Let the Holy Spirit come and take preeminent in our midst, O oh God. Lord, we surrender and heal ourselves to the Holy Spirit. The leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit this morning. Our Father and our God, as we draw upon this altar, we want to bless you because of this altar. For this altar is a place of exchange. Lord, we trained our soul upon this altar. We worship you as you reign over our lives, O Lord. We bless you because you, Jehovah, that foot put our foot into dancing, our heart into shares, O God, and our mouth into laughter, O King of glory. Lord, we rejoice because of your doing upon our life. Thou hast been so faithful and holy to us, O God. Holy to be praised and to be exalted, O Lord. Bless you because of the hand of salvation that have been with us and that is with us this morning. Lord, we bless you for the gift of salvation. We thank you that this morning our sins are forgiven. Bless you because our names appear in the Lamb's book of life, O King of glory. That you made us call heir with our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless you because of our Lord Jesus Christ who is seated at the right hand of the Father interceding for us this morning. Our Father, we bless you because of what you're doing in our midst. We thank you because of our expectation this morning. Lord, your word says that our expectation, our expectation shall not be cut short this morning. Bless you for the miracle, signs and wonders in our midst, O oh God. Let your glory come down. Let your healing power be manifested in our midst, O oh God. 
Lord, as we wait in your presence, we bless you because of what you're doing in our life, oh Lord. Thank you for that table that you prepare for us, oh God. How I pray that you may open up our eyes and our yellow of understanding this morning that God, we may receive from you, oh God. Minister to us at the point of our need, oh God. Thank you because you, God, who says you supply to our need according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We bless you that this morning we are here, oh God. We are here to receive from you, oh God. We are here to hear from your King of glory. We are here to encounter with your King of glory. We bless you because of our Father, Bishop Dr. Mark Ariok and Pastor Joyce. Lord, we speak your blessings over their life, wherever they are this morning. We command your blessing over their life to be manifested this day in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray the Lord you may renew their strength and cause them to mount up with wings as eagles in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless you, Father, pastors in the house of bread. We speak peace over their family. We speak joy over their family this morning. That God will remember them as individuals, oh God, and bless them and enlarge them in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for our leaders in the house of bread. We pray that, Lord, you may renew their strength. That, Lord, you may quicken their foot. That, you may hasten, that, Lord, you may minister to their heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your glory come upon them. Lord, minister to their need in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless you for each and every one of us this morning. We thank you, King of glory, that you, Jehovah, in our garden, the sick they shall receive their healing this morning. We thank you for our nation, the land of Kenya. Lord, we declare it as well with our nation. We bless you because of the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray the blood of Jesus Christ over the atmosphere of this nation in the name of Jesus Christ, taking power and authority over every evil powers that have gathered upon our nation. We bind them in the name of Jesus Christ. We command them to scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. We nullify every work of the devil that have been assigned and laid upon our land, upon our nation, the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father and our God, we raise the altar of the sprinkling blood of Jesus Christ to minister to our nation and this land in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you because of the borders of our nation, oh God. We thank you for the peace that is prevailing in our nation in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you for the leadership of this nation. We thank you for our president, deputy president, oh God. Every man and woman that is in the authority in our nation, oh God. We pray that, Lord, you may bless them, O King of glory. Lord, lift them as such and now, oh God. Minister your grace upon their life. Let their eyes be opened up, oh God, that they may see the glorious light of the Lord Jesus Christ. That they may know you whom to know is life in we pray for their salvation, O oh God. That my Father, my God, you may minister to them, O oh God. Let thy fear rest upon their soul this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless you for the freedom of worship in our nation. That God, as the church, as people gather in different places this morning, Lord, minister your grace upon their life. The grace of salvation, O oh God. The grace of healing, O oh King of glory, in their midst, O oh God. The grace of deliverance upon their midst, O oh God. We pray that the Lord shall move in a great way over those congregations. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release the hand of salvation to minister to them, O oh God. We thank you for the churches moving on, and the gates of hell will not prevail upon our nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you for every prophetic word that you've raised concerning our nation, O oh God. You've called our nation the springboard of revival towards other nations in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive glory and honor this morning. We bless you and we worship you, O oh Lord. We thank you and we honor you, Lord. We celebrate you, King of glory. We celebrate you, Jehovah our Father. Thank you for hearing us, O oh God. Thank you for answering us this morning. Thank you for answering us, O oh Lord. We celebrate you, King of all. We give you praise and honor, O oh Lord. We thank you, 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 Lord. And we all say, Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let's stand together as we welcome Reverend Junior. Continue from there. Hallelujah. Karibu, karibu, karibu. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Tusalimiane ile ya karibu na binguni. Bwana asifiwe sana. Give your neighbor a high five. Tell them it's good to see you in church today. It's good to see you in church today. Be the name of the Lord. Good morning. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ah, karibuni sana kwa nyumba ya mkate. Welcome to the house of bread this morning. It is good to see each one of you today. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. We want to sing one uh, praise song before we get into the next session. And uh, we've been, for a while we've not done, uh, we've not gone back to our roots. So let us go back to our roots for a minute. And then from there we are going to get into the next session. It's a song that says, Mudo Muradi Me Ne Muradi Me Osha Muradi Me Da Ger Me Kara Mudo Muradi Me Ne Muradi Me Osha Muradi Me Da Give them 
a high five and tell them karibu sana and those words may they be may they come to pass in jesus mighty name kenya has got to release that which is meant for you nairobi will we release that which is meant for you thank you so much you may have your seat bwana asifiwe sana blessed be the name of the lord Amen. did you have a good week yes nimkae hapo kwanza did you have a good week i uh, once again welcome to the house of bread it is good to see you this morning and uh you're looking sharp from where I'm standing. And it's great that we are all gathered today to bless the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, I, I have something to start by saying. I had told you last week that a familiar face like mine will be standing here. But it is not that face that you are, which is standing here today. So I beg to apologize for that. Our bishop is back in the country. He came back on Thursday. He landed safely. And uh, we went to, uh, to Nakuru on Friday for the Kesha. When I say our bishop, I mean our bishop and our mom. So just have that at the back of your mind. So he's back in the country. But I didn't know until the time he landed that there's another assignment that was waiting for him today or on Sunday. So he came and then he had to go again do another, uh, another assignment that he had. But, tell your neighbor, but, but, you can be sure, this time next Sunday, I'll not be apologizing, you can be sure that next Sunday, he's going to be in the house. Buenas fue sana. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, that is, uh, accept my apology, I, and that's what happened, but you can be sure that next Sunday, he's going to be with us, together with Mom Joyce, and we are going to give God all the glory and all the honor. Bwana asifiwe sana. So wale walikuwa wajakuja church kwa siku mingi, alafu wanasema leo nitakuja kwa sababu bishop yuko msijali um, kujeni pia next Sunday. Atakuwa hapa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, okay. Niki yako wapi ni Lin? Okay, sawa. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There's something, uh, uh, that's why I asked for them to stay, but now you can go. Thank you. Let's appreciate our, mid, uh, our choir, our worship team. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, we want to get into the, sub, uh, the next session without much uh, time wasting. But before we do that, we want to invite the Sunday school. How many were here last week for the prayer meetings on Thursday and on Monday? Just by a show of hands. Uh oh, okay, okay, okay. If your neighbor is not lifting up their hand, Mulize Ulikua Wapi. Where were you? In a, on a, in, a light, in a light touch. Just ask them, where were you? Then there's another opportunity again this coming Monday, tomorrow, and Thursday. Please let's avail ourselves and be here for our prayer meetings on Monday and on Thursday communion. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We had a good week in, uh, we had a good Kesha on Friday in Nakuru, the main Kesha, and it was very, very well attended. I think we had more than 3,000 men who came to that meeting. Yeah, we give God all the glory and all the honor. Uh, so it was very good and well attended. And we were reminded that men ought to pray without ceasing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You'll find that in most of our meetings, even in our room here, our intercessory room, most of the people who get in there are ladies or women. And the Bible did not say women ought to pray. It said men ought to pray always without ceasing. So I'm encouraging all the men. There are others actually who don't know. Men, one as if you were. That is our intercessory room, just in case you didn't know. The green door right here. So I know the ladies know that. I know a few men do. I'm not against anyone, but I'm just encouraging us that it, it's always important. We keep praying and praying and praying so that even when Jesus returns, at least he will find you praying. One as if we're sana. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, 
we don't want to waste a lot of time let us get into the we want to hear the word of god but before we do that i'd like to uh, invite the sunday school kids so that they can come and go to their sunday school and then we straight going to get into the word of god watoto tafadhali paul look for nikki and lynn please Bwana asifiwe sasa mak mambo sasa Let us pray with our kids. My name is Duba and let us pray. Thank you Lord for the journey mercies you gave us from home to come to your house to praise you and give you and, and thank you for all the things you have given us. Oh God, thank you for the gift of life and salvation throughout our lives. There are others who wish they would see this day but could not. Oh God, thank you for for all, for the for our parents and for the school fees you allow them to pay for us for our education you are the, you are our father and you have never betrayed us we will always be your children and and your servants in Jesus name I pray me um my name is Ryan Shege and I want to pray our definite father we, our definite father will come for this morning if I can we release those Sunday school children Help them to go in. Oh God, thank you for the wonderful thing that you have given us this day. A blessed month, and as we end our our as we end of this March, as we went as we go to April, may you pray for for those people who, for those people who are who are hospital. May you pray. May you touch them by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I pray for I pray for those countries who are still fighting. May you support them. May we love them. May we serve them. Oh God, we thank you for the, for our parents, our teachers, our past our pastors, our bishops. And all our pastors and and all the pastors of the of the Deliverance Church, I thank you for every, I, I thank you for those people. I thank you for those people who are closing school. May may we, may we pray for them. May they enter for the journey masses. You know there's no other God like you. Oh God, we thank you for the wonderful. Oh, oh God, we thank you as for Bishop as he as went for the journey as as we went for the journey. He came back very soon. He came back on Thursday. He has come back. I thank you. I pray we believe in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My name is Nadima Zenge, and I want to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. We, we thank you for our parents and teachers to guide us for Protect us. Amen. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Liberty and I want to pray. Thank you, Lord, for protecting us. Thank you for staying with us through the week, Almighty Father. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you even for thank you even for protecting our family members wherever they are. May you stay with them. May you cover them, Almighty Father. Even thank you for waking up us every day, Almighty Father. Even thank you even for this week as it has been wonderful, Almighty Father. Thank you for protecting us and staying with us, Almighty Father. We cannot take this for granted, Almighty Father. Thank you for protecting each and every one of us. Thank you for creating uh, Bishop Dr. Mark and Yoke and every each and friend of us, Almighty Father. Even I pray even for even our parents and teachers, even as you're going to go to Sunday school, may you obey the teachers, Almighty Father. And even as our parents are going to hear the word of God, may you even listen the word of God. Even as thank you for waking up us every day, Almighty Father, we go to school. Even I pray for the people who are still doing exams, Almighty Father. May they pass, Almighty Father. Do pray and believe. Amen. Let's appreciate our children as they are going to their Sunday school. Watoto pole pole to Forte Molimu. Pole pole. No running. No running. No running. 
May all those prayers come to pass in Jesus' name. All those petitions will come to pass. If you don't have school fees, may you receive it in Jesus' name. Whatever your desire is, may it come to pass this day in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let the little children come to me. <laughs> uh, we want to get into the word of God straight away. And uh, even if our dad came back, he did not just leave us without someone to preach to us. He, he tried to make sure that we are sorted. But uh, so to bring us the word of God this morning is a friend of Bishop. They met, I think, in uh, Accra, Ghana, or Cote d'Ivoire. When Bishop was in Cote d'Ivoire, that's when they met. He's a man, they are friends, and I have also come to like him because he preached to us during the Kesha in Nakuru, and he's a good man. So uh, he comes from Cape Town, South Africa, and uh, his name is Pastor Steve Landop. He pastors a church called Cape Getaway International Church in South Africa, Cape Town. So we want to receive the servant of God this morning so that he can come and release that which God has deposited in his spirit. Are you ready to receive Pastor Steve? House of Bread, stand up on your feet. Please welcome, help me welcome to this mic, none other than Pastor Steve Flandop. Come on, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate him. Celebrate, 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 celebrate. Jumbo. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Greetings in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is here this morning. I brought him with me. And I'm sure you brought him with you. So come on, let's give the Lord a real shout of praise this morning. Open your mouth and give Him praise. Lift up your hands and give Him praise. Bless the Lord with all your heart. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and everything that is in me. Bless your holy name. Come on, give a good shout of praise. Jesus be glorified. Jesus be glorified. Jesus be lifted on high. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, amen. Praise God. Now you can be seated this morning, amen. Firstly, I want to bring you greetings from Cape Town, South Africa, the most southern tip of Africa. I bring you greetings from there this morning. Greetings from my wife of 30 years. Uh, she is uh, my only wife. Uh, I, 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 I promised, I said, until death us do part. <laughs> and so I bring greetings from her. Her name is Louise. Uh, she's a, 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 a designer, a clothing designer by profession, but she's now an owner of a school and she's also the mother of my four children. And she's the, she's the joy, you know, she's the, like they say, she's the milk in my coffee. She's the sugar in my tea. <laughs> you know, I only have one of her. So I bring greetings from her this morning. Uh, they are praying for us. They are interceding for me. They are behind me. And uh, I know that they are going to watch this service with great expectation to see what God has done and is going to do here today. Amen. I've got four children. I bless God for them. I'm very proud of them. The Lord has done great work in my children's lives. And I'm also the president of an organization called the Deep River Fellowship of Churches. And we have churches across South Africa. My father started this many years ago in uh, 1995. We were part of an organization. And he then just felt God was saying he needed to break out and be part of, start something new. Uh, he got the blessing of that organization and he started this in 1995 while I was living in the U.S. 
and ministering there and by part of the Bible school there. He started this when I came back. I was caught between the two. Do I go with my father or do I stay with the organization? And my father-in-law, just like Moses had a father-in-law, gave me words of wisdom. And he said, your father needs you. And so I thank God for that. And he released me to be with my dad. And so 14 years ago, my father ordained me as the president or the bishop of our churches. So I give God glory for what he's doing. Amen. Praise God. I want to get straight into the word this morning. I believe that Africa is in a very key position and season in the world of evangelism and in the world from a perspective of revival. The continent of Africa has the most Christians. There's 650 million Christians, believers in Africa, more than any other continent. The median age of Africans is 19 years old. Which means our church must focus, must target the young people. And as I saw the Sunday school come up this morning and standing around the new building, standing here, I saw them occupying, possessing, filling this building. Come on, give the Lord praise, man. Filling this building. I see that. Amen. And so I want to very quickly just take you to the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 16 to verse 17. Romans chapter 1, verse 16 to 17. If you got it, say praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. Verse 17. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Oh, I, that's a good place to shout hallelujah. The just shall live by faith. I want to share with you a word that I don't believe is for little children. I believe it's for grown people. I want to just... Again, please excuse me. I want to thank the Honorable Bishop Mark Kariyuki and Pastor Joyce, the leadership of this church, for the opportunity you have given me to come and be with you today. The, I don't take this lightly. It's a huge privilege. So I want to say thank you to all the pastors, all the leaders, the bishops, the, the fivefold ministry. Thank you for having me be here this morning and share the precious, infallible word of the Lord. Amen. We cannot any longer as a church be intimidated by the world. Kenya is strategic in the revival that God has planned for the world. I'm not saying that because I'm in Kenya. I'm saying that because I believe that the prophetic agenda that God has for the world, Kenya is strategically positioned. Oh, somebody help me here this morning. Kenya is strategically positioned, prepared. 
anointed, gifted, blessed, been educated for a time such as this. I believe the partnership between Kenya and Cape Town. Oh, come now, man. Help me here this morning. The partnership between Kenya and Cape Town is important. Let me tell you, 200 years ago, and ever since that time, there's been prophecies that there's going to be a fire coming from Cape Town. A Holy Ghost fire burning right through the continent of Africa and going across the world. And when Nigeria and Ghana and other parts of Africa heard about it, Nigeria said, if you look at the continent of Africa, the way it is shaped, you are on the east, they are on the west, we are on the south. And they say that Kenya keeps the spirit of the revival. Allow me just to brag a bit about Cape Town. But Cape Town carries the fire of the revival. <laughs> now let me say, we cannot do it without Kenya. Because we need the spirit to get the fire. Oh, my, 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 wait, wait, wait. I see fire here behind me this morning, and I believe the fire of the Lord is going to fall in this place in the name of Jesus. I just came, I came to light your fire. I came to stir your faith. I came to push you into your purpose. And Nigeria says that where Nigeria sits, they hold the trigger. can trust the Nigerians with the trigger <laughs> and Ghana so I believe that the revival that the world is waiting for is coming from Africa I believe we need to raise up our young people I believe we need to raise up our children to possess the city to occupy the city to take over in the marketplace to take over in business to take over in education to take over in government it's our time africa kenako it's time for us to arise it is time for us to occupy it is time for us not just we didn't come just to be part of what god's doing we came to take over hallelujah we came to take over Mighty God. So I want to encourage you. Minister into those young people. Pour into them. Release your gifts and calls that God has put upon you. Release it into their lives. Do what God told Moses. God said to Moses, I want you to get men to come alongside you. In fact, it was his father-in-law that said, you are going to get tired if you do this work of the ministry alone. Get some helpers. And God said, get them lined up. And I, God, will come and take off your spirit and put it on them. I don't know about you, but I believe it's time for us to trans the anointing to the next generation now let me tell you what happens with the transfer when God comes and he takes the anointing that's upon your father spiritual father spiritual mother upon your leaders when God comes and they and, and God transfers that or when they pray over you the struggles they had, the battles they had, you don't have to face it. They conquered it, you can walk in it. They overcome it, so you can now confidently operate in that same anointing. That's the transfer of the anointing. I'm telling you, you need to position yourself, church, Young people, you've got great anointing in this house. 
There's a great anointing. I, I walk into this house and I sense the anointing, the cloud of the glory, the yoke destroying, burden lifting anointing right here in this house in Jesus name I sense it I feel it so all you must do all you have to do is tap into that anointing receive that anointing hallelujah let's get to work praise God hallelujah there's an abundance of fruit coming forth out of this house Fruit is going to be manifest out of this house. Good fruit.